Good evening. I'm here at my apartment with my good friend Teresa. How are you doing, Teresa? <laughs> I'm cooking us dinner, and I'm gonna show you how I cook a half a rack of pork spare ribs. Now these have already already been rubbed. Uh, these are left over from a barbecue that I had uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I froze them. I, and I gave them a traditional rub. It's uh, uh, brown sugar based with various uh, earthy seasonings such as uh, oregano, rosemary, black pepper, cumin. And now I don't have a great setup here for slow cooking, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But I got it on the. I, I got my barbecue on low. I'm using gas. Uh, I use coal for the. I use a coal gr uh, grill <clears throat> for the barbecue and. They turn out really nice, but uh, I just think that with my with the with the with the, the barbecues I have, uh, gas my gas one's better at cooking ribs. If I my dad has an excellent uh, coal barbecue, it's it's huge. It's 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 has a diameter greater than the width of my patio, and he could definitely do some really good slow cooking there. It tastes and it, ta and it anything off that tastes a lot better than something's. That was that was cooked for a while. My charcoal grill. My grill is good for things like sausages and hamburgers and chicken. It's not good for things like ribs. But th but this grill, this barbecue, this uh, gas barbecue, will do a decent job of cooking the ribs. So anyway, without further ado, all right. It's right now at about. It's awfully hot. I wish I could get lower than that. If I turn off one, I could turn off just just cook it on one side. But the thing is. Is that it wouldn't it wouldn't cook evenly, so I'm just gonna have to I'm not gonna be able to slow cook it, but they still taste pretty damn good. So anyway, I'll take these whoa pre-rubbed ribs and I'll put them down bone side first, right in the middle. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do. All right, it's very hot. Don't worry, I got it. It's the time is what time is it? Oh, fly came in. Oh well, it's 4:51. I'm just start recording again. Yeah, these are definitely ready to flip. I'm good. The bone side's cooked. Uh, I'm gonna put my barbecue glaze on it. This is a sweet. There's lots of different uh, ways of making barbecue sauce. This one's a sweet ketchup and onion based one. Uh, it's sweetened with a. Uh, brown sugar molasses and seasoned with some of the same things that were in the uh, rub but also some other things like a and it's a lot of yeah a lot of earthy seasonings what you doing oh thank you right. put more on this when the other side's cooked thank you Teresa I'm using a silicone spatula which won't melt but there's not a lot of heat on in this area anyway, a lot of flavor, and just, they just taste really good. All right, I think that'll do for now. Let's yeah. close it and let it cook. It's only, it's been a little over 20 minutes since I put them on. I would have liked to let them go for about, for about double that, but I just can't easily get my barbecue to go cool enough. It's just not designed for that way. I mean, I, my dad bought this one for me, and he even said I needed a, I needed a new barbecue already. So, <laughs> but, man, well, someday I'll, I'll be able to afford a nice one. A real, oh, a real nice one. This one's not bad. All right, we'll be back in a little bit once the ribs are done. Okay, the ribs have got to be done by now. It's been on for it's about 5:30, so yeah, they've been over for a while. It's like, actually, it's close to 5:40. So, oh yeah, that's looking perfect. Nice, nice, and for the let's see. I don't need the right side anymore, and I'll turn this up the high for the corn. While these rest, all right, let's get them inside quickly. Uh, here, do you need to take the camera? Okay. Thank you. All right, we're all set. Uh, ribs, garlic bread, corn on the cob, which corn on the cob is Teresa's favorite food. Uh, Orzo pasta, which is very nice pasta. It looks like grains of rice, but it's pasta with some pesto. Mm. 
And I think that's everything. So, not bad for a casual spur of the moment dinner between two friends, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna keep eating. Bye.